Hi everyone, it is Evan here from thetraderisk.com and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about scanning for stocks. And if you're finding this video just natively on YouTube, we do have a full complete blog post that's gonna detail all of the scans that we talk about in today's video and the exact PCF code and everything else that you might need or just wanna copy or see in text, uh, that should be appearing on your screen now to link to that article or you can find it below in the info section on this video. So we're going to start by answering, you know, why scan for stocks in the first place? Why does it matter? Why is this something that we want to do? And then we're going to just walk through how to create scans in TC2000, filtering your stock universe, defining your stock universe, and then adding in your specific trade setups and patterns that you're looking for. And we're gonna do that with a few of my favorite setups that I look at uh, almost every single day and my favorite scans that I look at every single day is what I meant to say. So let's take it from the top here. First, this is TC2000. This is a software program. Uh, it is a premium product. It does cost to have this version of it. They do have a free version called freestockcharts.com. But if you want to scan using uh, the same, this format, this software that you see in the screen here, uh, you'd have to head over to TC2000. We have a link down below there that you'll be able to find. So why would we wanna scan for stocks in the first place? Well, if you're an active trader, uh, this is an essential step in finding uh, quality trade ideas to make money with. So if you have a specific system or setup that you like to trade, for example, if you, if you only like to trade bull flag setups, for example, you could create scan conditions that would only return to you stocks that are in that pattern that you like to trade. Frankly, there's too many stocks to keep track of all at once, right? There's over 5,000 out there publicly traded companies for U.S. retail investors. And the only way you're really going to fi filter out all of the noise and focus on the setups and patterns that you're interested in is by having a set of scans that you can run through daily or weekly, depending on how active you are, to find your best trade ideas and then to, to sort of continue your, your execute on your strategy as you see fit. So that's why we scan for stocks. It's to find uh, the stocks that we care about for our watch list. And now we're going to get started and talk about set creating our first scan and defining our universe and following through on these steps here. So the first step is creating a scan. And in TC2000, we're gonna click on this easy scans uh, button up there. We're gonna click on create new scan, and that's gonna bring us to this window right here. So from here, we're gonna select this list to scan. This is our stock universe. And TC2000 is great because there, it's quite flexible in where we can you know, create our universe, where we can scan under. So if we just wanted to do the Dow Jones 30 stocks, we could do that, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100. So if we wanted to go by specific uh, indexes, we could do that. We could choose the NYSE exchange, uh, at the NYSE exchange. We could do the NASDAQ. So there's lots of flexibility here. I prefer to always use the U.S. stocks um, list right here. And what the U.S. stocks, U.S. common stocks list gives us are all of the stocks in the NYSE, in the NYSE, and the NASDAQ without any ETFs and without any of the indexes. So it's just all of the common stocks under the NASDAQ and the NYSE. So if I were to scan that right now with no conditions, you'd see there's 4,800 stocks inside of this bucket that I'll be scanning on. So that is what I prefer to use. It's one of the broadest ways to um, to sort of scan here. If you wanted to have those ETFs in there, you could scan specifically on the NYSE and then have a, a separate NASDAQ scan, or you could just create, like I do, a watch list of all of your favorite ETFs and scan on that list separately. There's a lot of different ways you could do it, but for us and for this video, we're gonna use the US common stocks list uh, for our scanning. So now that we have our list in place, we're gonna filter down that list because even though there's 48, there are 4,800 stocks there, 
I don't actually want to look at all 4,800 of these because I'm, I'm going to have some requirements that I'm going to impose. And the first one is going to be, uh, I only like to trade stocks that are trading above $8. So I like to trade stocks, uh, I like to get away from those $5 stocks and those penny stocks and I like to, um, I like to trade something that has at least an $8 price history. So that's the way I would label that there. That's going to return only stocks that are above $8. If I click on the scan now, you could see that 4,800 list that we originally had is now 3,500. So we just took off 1,300 stocks there from our universe by just putting in this one filter. So that's the first filter I look at. The second filter I look at is volume. And I look for an average 20-day volume of 300,000 or more. And I already have this scan condition in place, so if you don't have this on your screen, I can show you how to make that later. Uh, but for now, it's the average 20-day volume greater than 300,000, and I just put that to true. So if I were to scan now, you can see we're down to 1,700 stocks in our universe. So you can see continuing to shrink down uh, our universe that we're gonna be scanning through and just setting what I call these prerequisite criteria. And again, these are my personal preference. If you don't mind trading stocks of any price range, if you don't care what kind of volume is traded, um, then you can do without these scans, uh, these filters and you can you know cast your net across the whole 4800 stocks that we originally started with in the US common stocks list so those are the first two I like to add I actually put another one in that um, sets the minimum volume for the past 20 days to be greater than 200,000 that is to uh, save myself from any one-day anomalies where let's say earnings uh, skews the 20-day volume average and you know let's say it trades 2 million shares on its earnings day but every other day it's generally trading 100,000 then I just want to make sure that that's not kept in there so I add this minimum 20-day uh, volume has to be greater than 200,000 and the final one that I add is an average true range um, is an average true range filter and I think for that one we're gonna have to just put in if we click on the ATR, so we get this 14 period ATR and we want it to be, or I want it to be, greater than 30 cents, okay? So what that means is we want our stocks to move at least 30 cents a day. That should be the average range, 30 cents or greater a day. So that's gonna make sure that we're trading something that actually has some movement, actually has some volatility that we can capture some trend and capture some movement from. So. This is my prerequisite filter list here on the US common stocks list. Again, personal preference, you can feel free to modify this or leave any of these that you don't care about out. Uh, but if we were to scan right now, you can see we're down to 1,363 stocks. That is officially our universe inside of what started with 4,800 stocks in this US common stocks list. So that means now, we have 1,300 stocks that we're gonna be filtering on and we're gonna be filtering based on the specific pattern and, or setup uh, that we're looking for. And in today's video, in this video, we are gonna build out a condition that looks for pullback setups in strongly trending or at least healthy stocks. And if you have the blog post open that I linked you to in the beginning of this video, this will be our third uh, scan condition that we talk about on that page. So again, you can find that link uh, below this video in the notes section, and that'll spell out the exact PCF formula that we are going to uh, create now. So this is where things can get a little intimidating for TC2000 because uh, you do have to write your own uh, conditions, and it's not as intense as writing code, so to speak, but that you do have to look up to understand what their language, what the syntax is for creating these scans. Um, I'll put a link to the to the main sort of PCF syntax language, and, and PCF, by the way, is uh, personal criteria formula syntax. Uh, so personal criteria formula, that is what um, you have to create to create these scan conditions. So it's, again, let me just repeat that flow again. Uh, you're gonna click on library, you're gonna click on conditions, and then you're gonna click on new condition formula, 
and this is where it says edit PCF. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the personal criteria formula, and we're gonna we're gonna define a pullback setup in this little box here. Okay, so we're gonna do um, scanning for stocks, scanning for pullback, for a pullback, and this is for our video. So that's going to be what our PCF condition is called and this is where we're going to actually write the code. You can see we have a time frame that we can actually select right up here so it is advanced and sophisticated enough that we could do this on intraday time frames or daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly or yearly. We're going to do this on the daily time frame because we're interested in swing trading uh, swing trade setup, so pullbacks that we could potentially get into for a multi-day swing. So for this particular pullback trade, there's a ton of different ways you could define and write pullback trades, but I'm going to keep this one very simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the close of today because when you have C represents the close and this can be numbered so you could do the close yesterday, the close two days ago, the close three days ago, the close four days ago, um, but if you just leave it with the C, that's going to be the close today, is above, so is greater than, the exponential moving average 20 period, so the 20 period EMA. So the close today is above the 20 period EMA. So that gives us our first just baseline condition that says, okay, thumbs up, we have a stock that is at least healthy in the sense that it is trading above the 20 period EMA. Now we're going to end that with a couple of different conditions here that just basically says I want to look at stocks that are A, above the 20 period moving average and have closed lower three days in a row. Okay, So that basically means we had a stock that ran up above the 20 period and now it's pulled back now three days in a row but it's still above the 20 period so it gives us a potential great risk to reward entry into a healthy stock. So the way we would write that is we would put our open our parentheses and we would say we want the close two days ago to be below the close from three days ago. And we also want the close from yesterday to be below the close from two days ago. Okay, And then the close today is below the close from yesterday. So this here will give us exactly what we want. This is going to give us stocks that are closing above the 20 period and it also has uh, the sequence where we've closed below the prior day's close for three days in a row now. So three days pullback. It could be a four day pullback. Could be, this, will, this won't be specific. It could be a four, five, six, seven day pullback, but it's at least a three day. Okay, so that's it. That is the full scan. Um, and if we, so scanning for pullbacks dash video is the name of it. So if we hit okay, and we go back to our original box here for our new easy scan, and we click add condition, and we say um, video right here. So scanning for pullbacks video, we're gonna just click that in there. And all it is is set to true, basically, on the daily time frame. And then we're gonna hit scan. And we have 25 stocks that come up on this scan criteria. So let's run through them pretty quick. And this is just based on today's data, of course. Um, and again, this also includes all of the other prerequisites that we put in here. So let's go to STT, this is the first candidate. So here we go, uh, State Street. You can see it has pulled back uh, multiple times now, uh, more than just the three days, but it is trading above the 20 period. So the yellow line on this chart is the, or the orange line on this chart is the 20 period moving average. So you can see today's close was, yesterday, was lower than yesterday's close, which was lower than the prior day's close, which was lower than this close. So meets our criteria and you can see it also actually pulled back from here as well and that's a stock above the 20 period with a couple of closes below. BNS, here's one now that uh, actually looks pretty nice. It's been in a steady uptrend for a couple of months and you can see it's now pulled back three days in a row still above the 20 period and BANC, here's another one, another bank name. This one's pulled back more than three days. Uh, ICPT, so here's a pretty cool one. I like this setup where we have a stock that had a strong thrust off of this uh, consolidation low. So this little bottoming pattern here ran all the way up to about 133, 134, and now it's pulling back gradually here 
to these fast moving averages still above the 20 period. So this is potentially a nice pullback setup where, again, it's all going to just be what you're interested in and this is going to come down to your personal preference and your strategy, but you have this nice potential ABC. If you were to look for, you know, set a trigger tomorrow above 125, if this starts to lift up above, you have a nice pullback entry with a defined risk that you could put below the swing low, trade back to the highs here, just an example. So that's it. That is how you create uh, scans in, in TC2000. On the blog post, I do list uh, a, a few others that I like to use. This is one of them. This is an exact scan that I look at uh, and I look for you know, almost every day if, I, if we're in a healthy market and I'm looking for long exposure. This is an, this is an exact example of, of one that I use. And I have plenty of others. So uh, I hope this video helps. We'll leave it there. And uh, again, the article itself has a little more info on it, but this at least should get you started. If you have questions, leave a comment on the blog or leave a question on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to see more of these, um, feel free to, to let me know that as well and perhaps I'll do a couple more of these conditional uh, of these of these scans. So uh, thanks guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and hope to talk to you again soon.